My name is Nick Antimisarius. Don't try to pronounce it. It's too early and uh, you might hurt yourself. Uh, I am a member of the Community Builder team and I'm going to start off with a brief story. You want to change the slide? Excuse me? The microphone is only for I have to speak loud, I guess. <laughs> All right. I'll, Again, this is Nick, I'm on the Community Builder team. Uh, I just want to share with you a brief story, a couple of minutes on how I got involved with this project and actually how I met Beat, or Beat. Okay, I still call him Beat. Uh, shortly after graduate studies, I spent uh, seven years at Bell Labs in the United States, doing nice research stuff on uh, network design for data and voice networks. Uh, I, little did I know that a couple of aisles further down, there was a young fellow from uh, Switzerland working on circuit design for uh, some switches that AT&T was designing. Uh, we never met during that time. We were pr practically neighbors in the same building every day. We never met. I left, and 15 years later, I was in Greece, and I was looking for I was looking to build a community site for my own uh, genealogy project, which uh, was a pet project I had. And I needed a CMS, and I was introduced to Mambo. For that CMS, I wanted to have a profile for each of the family members, you know, some basic information about uh, uh, their maiden names and so on. So I found something that at the time was in beta form, 1.0 beta 2, uh, something called Community Builder. And I got in contact with the uh, founder, which at the time, I only knew him by uh, his avatar and his name, was called Mambo Joe. <laughs> and uh, I told him what a good job he was doing, and I asked if I can help out in any way. He said, sure, if you can help me with the documentation, I'd be very grateful. Uh, he had accepted offers in the past, nobody really delivered, so he was extremely excited when around Christmas time of the year 2003, he found like a 50-page document describing the work he had done. He was ecstatic, it's like, you know, uh, somebody producing a book about your work. So we got to, I got to know him very well, uh, and a couple of months later, he said, you know, I met this guy from Switzerland, and he's going to be joining the team, and he codes just as fast as I do. And this guy was bad. <laughs> so, without uh, any further introduction, I mean, Community Builder basically connected us. <laughs> so, let me introduce you, Bert. He will be the main speaker. We have both prepared the presentation. We will both be taking questions and entertaining any comments. Uh, and we hope, uh, feel free to interrupt uh, ask questions. Uh, we we want to go through the presentation as quickly as possible, so we leave enough time for questions and open discussion. Thank you, Thank you Nick. Good morning, uh, everybody. Uh, as Nick introduced, my name is Biat, and we have been working at Bell Labs uh, uh, quite some years back, uh, together without knowing it. Um, my background after that exciting time at Bell Labs um, which were about four years there, uh, has been in internet security web application, uh, internet security for banking application, network encryption, firewalls, um, government grade security. And um, at one time I wanted to redo the website for a company and I stumbled upon Mambo at that time I wanted our users to be able to register their products, register themselves. I stumbled open community builder, which was made by Mambo Joe and by Nick. I wanted to do a few small improvements that I wanted to contribute back and got more and more excited about that. And over the years now, um, we, we have been building community builder. Mambo Joe had uh, to leave for uh, business and, and, and personal reasons. Uh, he's still around, he, we, he, we still talk with him, he's still part of the team, 
and uh, giving his advice there. Um, presentation at the agenda, I will be first giving a small introduction about social networks. Why are we here? What it is about? Um, where we come from? And what problems we are trying to solve? I think it's important to first state the problems you are trying to solve before trying to solve them. <laughs> um, then talking about community builder, extending community builder, um, and a few words about CBSUBS as well. The printed agenda uh, has an error for our tomorrow's talk, uh, which is more about CBSUBS and extending CBSUBS. Uh, but as some people have uh, conflicts with other interesting sessions, I will just say five minutes about that. Our strategy vision, the future uh, of CB, um, is something that we'll be spending a few minutes on it. And then hosting and managing community will be ending up uh, the presentation itself before we go to questions with more human consideration about managing a community. Okay, um, social network, what's all about? Um, it's basically people interacting uh, online. Um, it's people trying to uh, find friendships, more personal uh, things or more public community type uh, interactions um, like in, for instance, um, church communities, uh, clubs and so on. What's key in there to interact is to find people, to find people who share same uh, thoughts, the new com same interests, to be able to invite them either openly or in private, to interact and tab establishing contacts, establishing friendships, communicating, sharing uh, with other networks. And the social networks have been quite exploding over the <laughs> last years. Uh, the most famous one today is Facebook. Uh, the, another few examples are more professionally um, geared network LinkedIn that you probably know, MySpace, Ning, but Joomla enables you to have your own social network on your own site as well. And uh, there are a few good tutorials. I'm just giving one here, uh, which is about building online community. That will be on our slides as well. You don't have to <laughs> write it down here. But I mean, what's all of that about? It's about relationships, human relationships. It's about building trust. It's about building knowledge of each other. It's about communicating. So a, a good social network site should provide user management, allow people to register to your site easily. It, in some cases, it needs to have workflow, approval workflows, subscriptions, memberships. It should allow to easily connect users, uh, extending friends, researching the friends, uh, friends of friends, and exploring the network. Manage profiles um, with rich information. Allow to search. Uh, manage least advanced searches uh, to find people, to see people who are in the same area, and things like that. It needs to allow communication, private communication and public communications among members. Um, and finally, it should allow groups to form and to exchange more deeply um, uh, inside the group, either publicly or privately. A social network, I'm not seeing it as an application. I'm seeing that as a framework on which other application can build upon. And that's what we have been trying to do with Community Builder and seeding in quite, quite some extent um, doing that. Now, social networks are about size, are about uh, quality of people, about activity. And just to give a, a quick example, uh, Facebook, that's from their website on the uh, press room, it's for more than 400 million users. 
registered, of which half are every day logged in. So half of them are active, very active users. So 200 million users are exchanging there. More than 35 million users update their status every day. Very active users. So social networks can grow very, very big. And actually, they, there are many social networks which grow very fast. And we are living a very exciting year uh, with that because it's a year where things are starting to get connected together. And that's um, what um, we will be also announcing today. Now, again, stepping one step back, why should I have a social network on my site? Why should your customer have a social network on his site? Mar uh, normal marketing, uh, or past marketing, is about controlling the information on your network, uh, on your site, controlling what's happening, um, directing your messages. But um, things are changing. Uh, having a social network will happen anyway. Uh, will it help your site? Having people express themselves freely, interacting between them without you controlling that? Um, I think yes, for sure, because it will be spreading um, uh, trust, it will be spreading communication, it will be spreading buzz. How to implement? We'll talk about that in the next slides. Is it there to last, or is it just a trend, a buzz which will be over in a few years, like a lot of other trends? I personally believe it's here to last, and it's the biggest opportunity that we have since democracy for mankind. It allows everybody to express what he thinks in an open way, public way, visible for everybody. And it allows good ideas to spread very fast. And in that sense, it's something which is really, really exciting. Concerns. Yes, you have, a company should have concerns when it builds a social site on a network on his site. Concerns to lose control, concerns for people to say something bad. I love when somebody says something bad on a site, and I love to see the reply of the community. The normal action of a company or a community when you use a bad post is to hit the moderate or delete button <laughs> by fear of that bad news spreading. But if I see a site where there's only good news, there's no discussion, no controversy, no um, opinions, it doesn't give me trust, especially if it sounds like an open community, but there's only one voice. And I'm quite amazed how things self-regulate. Uh, if somebody posts something bad, usually you have two, three, four posts putting things in perspective, putting the, the guy back on track. And if you don't moderate, you don't change things, uh, after a day or two, that bad post will be looking really bad. <laughs> but at the same time, it will be building trust into your site, into your company. So I think it's something very important. How to integrate things? Also, when you go on social networks, you need to follow what's said. You need to have tools to, to follow up. It's what, what will it bring to your site? It will bring life, credibility, openness, enthusiasm, ideas, and valuable feedbacks from your customers. They will it also bring their friends, their uh, recommendations, but it will be most importantly bringing people closer to you. And it will be starting from a certain size on of your network, a collective intelligence, a collective wisdom of which you are just a part. <laughs> so when you build a social network, um, there are a lot of good things which come around the corner and only very, very few bad things which are easy to handle. So how? Um, there are many possible choices outside Joomla, inside Joomla. First of all, external. 
You can build a Facebook group very easily. You can get on LinkedIn, on MySpace, on use Twitter, Dig, Buzz, and so on, to name just a few. But um, that's externally controlled. You need to read the general terms of Facebook to understand who is owning the information, <laughs> who is owning uh, what's happening there for your site. Um, you need to understand how things happen there and not on your site, uh, where the traffic goes. Then you have outside networks where you pay something for, um, in some cases, and you have a little bit more control, like Ning, for instance. And then you can have on-site, on your own server, without Joomla, there's an open source solution called Elg, which is quite nice too. Um, and within Joomla, we have uh, quite a few possibilities. There is Community Builder, we'll be speaking today. There is a fork, which is called Community Builder Extended, CBE, um, which is, uh, has been done here in Germany, uh, which um, is fine and which uh, has its followers, but which has been much less developed uh, lately than Community Builder, and we have se seen a lot of people coming back to Community Builder um, as we have been evolving. Then you have all-in-one applications like uh, Joom Social, um, which is perfectly fine uh, for building, a, adding a co full community application uh, very quickly to your site, um, and which um, has some shininess today, which um, makes it look good from day uh, zero. Um, if you want to have, um, it's not open source today. It won't be open source until the release after the next release. And um, it has also a lot of fixed hard-coded stuff in it, which will allow less flexibility than a solution like Community Builder. Community Builder will have a little bit more learning curve, a little bit more effort to implement but uh, it will allow to go much farther and to extend much farther than other solutions today as the most popular solution on Joomla. Then there are other uh, coming uh, solutions which uh, we're ex very excited about to see that are also open source and um, there are a lot of things to, to learn from each other. Okay, now let's go to the Meet Community Builder. Um, we will be taking four mainly aspects. People, which are around the technical stuff, the historic track and, and strategic. People. First of all, uh, there are facts and key points uh, that I just um, spoke about. There is a community, which is very large that we have, which is the main focus of all what we do. There are work groups which are formed to do things and then there's a team which is trying to listen and act uh, to um, give to the community what the community would like to have and try to make the community participate. Okay, um, well, Community Builder today is number one solution, uh, number one extension overall on the Joomla extension directory. Uh, we have over two million um, installations, uh, over 300,000 registered members. We have 180 uh, CB extensions, most of those are third party ones. It's something that we have been aiming at being very stable and very secure as it runs a lot of sites. We want our stable uh, releases to be extremely stable, extremely secure, and on that we have a very good track record. Um, we want it to be robust and tuned for performance. Community Builder runs sites with over 5,000 users logged in at the same time browsing on a single server. 
and that's quite an achievement um, for uh, complex non-cached um, dynamic content rendering. And it's free and has always been open source GPL. We have reached 300,000 members mark lately. Um, that we are very proud of, and we are, uh, I've seen the numbers of Joomla this morning at 6,000 members per month rising. I think we are now at eight to 10,000 a month. So it's rising, uh, and it's very nice to see the community growing that pace. Also many third party developers, um, which are actively developing for community builder. Uh, then we have the work groups that we have started uh, last year, which are the um, previous CB testing work group, a new work of group chai for CB subs, for translations, and for third party developers. I know there are a lot of developers in that room, so I would like to invite you to join our third party developer work group um, just to uh, have direct access, direct contact, and direct support and share ideas. Okay, technical. Community Builder, as I said, is a framework. It's a core functionality framework, which is there to serve plugins which add features. We have been concentrating over the last years very much on the core functionality, and we have been adding a lot of added functions, and uh, with the upcoming CB 2.0, uh, we are adding about two or three times more, and we'll be from now on concentrating also on plugins uh, to make plugins as user-friendly as possible, adding features uh, to that. Okay, um, I don't know how much of you already know about CB. Who is CB expert here already? Okay, um, so it will be maybe just a, a, a quick presentation. Community Builder uh, allows to extend and improve the registration process and approval workflow on your site. It allows you to gather data about your members, the profiles, to organize them in fields and tabs, to allow interaction, connections. Uh, we have 16 workflows and manage up to six degree. Six degree is uh, theoretically what allows you to know everybody on earth through six persons. So it should, um, and, the, and it's extremely fast uh, to calculate the path. Um, we provide community moderation tools. That's something which is very important, that people can report, that moderators can ban temporarily, communicate during the banning with the user to, so that it, he puts a profile back on something which is showable on the site, to block if needed spammers, to moderate pictures. Moderation and managing community um, takes its roots back to Mambojo, Digitrail, um, which um, Digitrail is a, a Dutch guy which uh, had the largest BBS system in in Netherlands when at the time when there were 300 boom modems, <laughs> and um, he has from day one brought in a lot of expertise in how to make the community uh, be lively and healthy. Um, users and moderation for that is very important. Front end moderation as well. Users listening and searching, listening and searching, um, as I told, and integrating with the CMS and with many, many uh, components. So this core functionality that we have um, is extended by the plugins from our team and from third party uh, developers, mostly listed on the dread. We are announcing today a new uh, CB API documentation, which is much more extended than the previous one. Nick has been rewriting, finally, um, the documentation that, I, the short documentation that I did some years ago, and which will be allowing to much easier uh, integrate with CB. The architecture itself, as I said, it, there is a core uh, library. Uh, and uh, then in this core library, there are many um, processes and feature 
which are already handled uh, inside the core as community builder. And each of them has many, many events, many, many hooks, possibilities to interact, possibility to change, possibility to trigger events upon each action of the user. And the plugin, which can be installed, of which a few are already core, very few ones actually, uh, to make it um, as custom tailored as possible, uh, interact with that API. And we have also big extensions like for, uh, forum extensions, Kunena and other forums, and many, many, many other uh, extensions which interact with a CB plugin of their own or with uh, one of ours uh, to integrate their functionality within the user profile so that the user has a control center on his profile. There are a few developers here, and I would like to just share with you how easy it is to use CB inside your application. I have heard in the last days um, it's so complicated to integrate something or to interact or get just the avatar. And um, actually, it's very simple. <laughs> now, CB has a, um, a user handle uh, which uh, is cached and which is just get instance using the user ID. And that, with that, with a, you have the CB user handle, um, which allows you to do all the rest. You can get the raw data from the profile with just get user data. And dollar user will have the Joomla user and CB user in one single object. You can get any field rendered in HTML, like the avatar, like even an Ajax field rendered in HTML, just echo it and it will be working. <laughs> it's just one single line. You can put any field name here instead of avatar, even complex ones. You can get the exportable data in CSV form, <laughs> in JSON form, in XML form, just with one single line. Just replace the CSV by whatever format you want, HTML, HTML edit, to have a form field, one single line. It's easy to display a tab of the user profile inside your application with just one single line. Get tabs with the tabs to move one position of the user profile. Get all positions indexed or render the full profile using the CB template, the view, CB to view. So each time one single line to get all these tasks done um, and there are many, many, many more single line items or two lines items which are going to be documented. Okay, um, I think I have said more of that already, so I can swap that slide. Okay, um, that's just a small history about CB when it started in uh, 2004 and uh, when we moved, that was the Mambo era. And that's the more recent history in the Joomla era. And things have been a lot of working, a lot of releases, a lot of working and releases, which we are starting to come now. Uh, we have now a third team member, which is not here, which is Kyle, uh, which is watching and helping the forums now. We have a lot of extensions that will be going through them very quickly. Um, and uh, templates. We have a lot of plugins uh, listed here. Let's see a few of them. First of all, we have the profile book, which allows to do a wall, a blog, and the guest book in, uh, with the same um, plugin. We have a gallery, a profile gallery, which allows to share images on the profiles and then to list them on the site with the module. Very easy and basic. We have a privacy plugin, which allows to control the privacy of each field, of each tab. That's something that can be added. It's not in the core, to not um, overrate the core. But you can add privacy that people have, can have fine-grained uh, control, like only for friends, only for uh, a type of a friend, uh, for only for connections, friends of friends, and things like that. 
Um, we have, for instance, the rating field, which has also anti-cheating in it, so that people can vote reliably on a profile or rate things. You can have as many of them as you want on a profile. We have released a Facebook and Twitter uh, sign-in, Facebook Connect, um, which is now being developed further. We'll be coming to that later, which allows you with a single click to register uh, on your site. It will be taking automatically your uh, profile uh, key information to create automatically the Joomla and CB account. So people have a one-click registration without having to have a password and take in just uh, log in with Twitter account or Facebook account securely without sharing the password with you. Um, we have last visitor captcha, um, all to welcome plugins, Ajax text fields which allow to directly edit inside the profile and have nice bubbles and nice CSS on it. Um, also Ajax file field to upload uh, PDF files, like curriculums, like uh, documents in a secure way. We also have an admin module for the backend, which adds menus automatically to Joomla to very quickly uh, have community builder and CB subs um, access. Uh, we have been starting to do templates because we realize that design is important and relying only on third party designer makes their work, uh, life hard. Um, and we learned a lot during that process, uh, working closely with designer to release two templates that we wanted to be the fastest possible, the most uh, optimized. And we are very proud of that. My community template only makes two HTTP requests one for the HTML, one for the CSS. There's no background images used. There is no uh, multiple CSS JavaScripts and things like that. And up on next pages, uh, one request is from the cache and you load only the HTML page. Load time is 0 0.17 seconds, including rendering. <laughs> so it's very fast. And as you know, a browser can do only two HTTP requests at the same time. And then he waits for reply, then he has the right to do two more. If you have a template which has 70 requests, the 35 times around trip time to your server. If it's in the US and you're in Europe, it's 3.5 seconds. So this is important. But they still look good um, <laughs> because you can have fast templates which are blank. <laughs> but they still look good. This is a My Community template, um, which is tailored for community websites typically, which has a CB template in it. And this is a coolness template with rounded corners as well, uh, which is also um, far, uh, among the two fastest uh, templates for Joomla. A few words about CB Subs. Uh, CB Subs is a, a special um, plugin which is cr has crea been created for our own needs. And it has been uh, commercialized and uh, is a big success right now um, to support the free CB development. So now we are treat people on the team full-time. We have contractors, uh, which are almost working full-time also, <laughs> um, developing CB at a much faster pace, thanks to the documentation subscription, but also thanks to the commercial CB subs uh, solution, which is a big hit. In turn, we have Joomla website in the subscription-based service, which protects Joomla content elements. It has ACL included. It's based on subscription plans, multiple ones has built-in access control. It doesn't hack core, it doesn't hack any other component. It's clean. It interacts using the Joomla API only through, uh, through CB. CB subs uh, has its own API and it can have its own plugins uh, that will be unwieldy uh, in CB subs 1.1 and uh, made available to all developers. And we are very excited about that. Um, we have been fine-tuning it, optimizing it to make it very fast to develop uh, for CB. So it extends Community Builder and adds a very uh, advanced membership management possibilities. Um, with quick overlook of the payment center here, we can have the history of the last days, weeks. You have uh, detailed um, 
uh, interaction possibilities. I'm not going to go in detail today because that's the talk of tomorrow. It has a very extended architecture and uh, links to affiliate solutions, to payment processors, to analytics software, which allows it to really uh, make out the maximum of your site uh, commercially. It has a very, very clean and extended ACL, allowing in Joomla 1.5, um, in 1.0, in Mambo, wherever CB runs, to protect articles, components, uh, URL parts, for instance, protecting a given forum, even if the forum doesn't support groups, controlling modules, um, controlling menus, etc. Okay, um, that's what's here today. Now, we really have a few announcements that we want to make uh, today as a world premiere uh, to share also a strategy, vision, and future. So, first of all, um, Joomapolis will have a new website. Uh, it's about time. <laughs> uh, we have a professional team which has been uh, designing over the past month uh, a new, very well, re completely redesigned, reverted, refactored site, uh, which will be much easier for newcomers and uh, also much easier for uh, people. Uh, which are there. Another announcement today, um, the incubator initiative. Um, we have been quite frustrated <laughs> over the last years to have a lot of projects which are developed, but um, where we need the time to make it into a full stable product, but which are ahead of the curve and that we would like to share. And that's the incubator initiative. We will be sharing uh, to start with 12 projects which are not yet published, which allow many, many, many new things uh, to do um, that are still in development on which we don't want to have commitments like your old config will work on the new one. We might have to reconfigure, for instance, because we want to make it evolve fast. So it's short, very short release cycles, very near from the team, and that is something that will be given free of charge uh, to all CB uh, supporters, CB documentation subscribers, um, at no additional cost uh, to start with. And we would also like people to participate into that program, third-party developers, to share with the community, um, share the work, share the knowledge, share the ideas, um, and that's something which will be coming in the second step once the first step is already our uh, plugins is stabilized. Um, Community Build 2.0 will bring a new look and feel, a new MVC templating system, a new built in um, backend, um, making it much easier to program uh, plugins a lot of built-in uh, CB team functionality, core functionality. And um, if I would have another, another hour, I would be doing some demonstration on that. But uh, it will be released this year. And it will be um, a new CB, which will be allowing to easily migrate, easily upgrade as if it's any other CB release, also across Joomla releases. And we are really, really uh, excited about that. A lot of CB 2.0 is already in use extensively in CB subs, actually. All the back end of CB subs is only like 200 lines of PHP code, which is specific to CB subs. All the rest of CB subs back end, and it's even bigger than CB subs, uh, CB's back end is completely generic, completely um, non-programmed um, approach. It will be having an Ajax front-end completely, um, uh, detailed activity plugin and extended, have extended ACL support. 
We would like people to get involved in that pretty soon. We'll be calling up designers to propose the look for CB2.0, for the default templates. Um, the engine itself will allow to do about anything you want. <laughs> um, we have an uh, open thread where we collect information from the community and we want to make sure that it uses as much as possible scenarios out of the box. So typically you download CB, you install CB, then it asks you, do you want to have a dating site? You, do you want to have a church site? Do you want to have a company, corporate site? Do you want to have uh, uh, use cases that which are most typical? And it will be pre-installing you everything needed to have that slide uh, quickly up. So um, keeping the extended functionality, extensibility, but adding simplicity to the installation process. <laughs> that's something that we have been overlooking, and that's an error that we are acknowledging, and that we are fixing. We have a CB 1.2.3 tree which is getting ready and which is running on uh, Joomla 1.6. If there's time, I will be giving a very short demonstration. Um, it has been quite exciting challenge to port CB from 1.5 to 1.6 <laughs> uh, while keeping the compatibility backwards up to MAMBO 4.5, <laughs> um, keeping uh, trust with existing users. If you have a site running on a platform like Mambo, we don't want people to move to Joomla. If it runs some Joomla, we don't want you to have to move to something else in case. We just want uh, to be as trustful, uh, trustworthy as possible to our community. And um, keeping backwards compatibility, um, but being able to use new features of CMS is, is um, one of the ground um, Work that's been done. CBSubs 1.1, as I just said before, we'll be adding gateway APIs to checkout support, uh, translatable, and also introduce a partner development program where people can develop plugins and get close um, uh, cooperation with the CBSubs team. Um, Pretty much said all of that, so I'm not going to repeat it. Um, the CB subs uh, is reaching uh, one dot one is reaching the CB subs testing work group uh, these days. It should have reached it actually yesterday from here before announcement today, but because of the internet connection that we have here, it doesn't happen. So it'll be happening uh, next uh, next this week. CBSubs 1.1, 1.2 will have a completely open API for their integrations, plugins, products, support for coupons and global taxes and VAT. We have released Group Jive uh, 1.8 stable. Group Jive has started as a community project inside our forums, actually, <laughs> by some people, which um, didn't have the time to just finish it. So in agreement with them, we took over that job to finish it. So group Drive 1.8 is stable, is finally released. And we have been working on Group Drive 2.0 at the same time to rewrite it, make it better, completely integrated into CB 2.0. So Group Drive 2.0 is now in beta 7 in the Group Drive testing work group. Group, uh, group Drive work group. Join that work group if you want to be at the leading edge there. Um, it's it's uh, really, really uh, excited. I think. It has category, moderation, open private invitation group, built-in boards. It integrates with forums. It's fully translatable. Here are a few screenshots of the backend <laughs> of um, giving you just a short impression of um, see management in the back end. Here are screenshots from the front end where you can see users, invite them, list them, have categories, um, subcategories. And our big announcement of today that's completely new 
our secret project <laughs> uh, after Facebook Connect and Twitter. It's CB Connect. It's a uh, fully redone CB connector allowing to connect your CB site with Facebook, with uh, True Friends Connect to any open social network. It provides an open social ad API even. Means that you can have your CB site connecting with open social uh, compatible uh, gadgets. Uh, for uh, Facebook apps, can Facebook apps can be fields inside your community builder site. And same for gadgets from Google, and we are supporting a lot of them right now. Um, here is. CB Connect backend, which is a CB plugin, but oops, which um, has a fully fledged component interface where you can uh, specify for open social, Google, Hi5, MySpace, Netblog, Orkut, Partusa, Plaxo, XRDS, about any social network site. And our vision with that is that you can connect all those social set network sites together on your site. At once, you have the 400 million users of Facebook, the 100 million users plus of Twitter, the, I don't know how much million users uh, which are available through Friends Connect, all already like pre-registered members on your site. So it's opening completely new ways of thinking how people and how information will be connected together on the web. I'm really, really excited about that. And that's going to be available free of charge to all CB documentation subscribers in GPL on the incubator uh, in the next days, weeks. It's more or less ready, we just need to hook it up. Um, may I leave just a question for the end if you don't mind because um, a few more things to show. So, it's a field. You can have as many fields as you want of any, you just set friend connect gadget here. You can have activities, comments, ratings, featured connect, get answers, members, newsletters, polls, recent visitors, recommendations, share it, top 10 members, comments, ratings, activities, right into your profile. Here's a Google gadget. Here's a Facebook Connect uh, gadget with a new, brand new Facebook interface. Here you can, for Facebook, you can have comments, live streams, name, profile picture, user status, um, face pile comments, like button, I like it. Um, and when you do something there, it sh shows up on Facebook. Okay, a few last words before. Um, we go to the demonstration very shortly. Or I should maybe finish with that. So let's just switch over to the demo. Okay, so first of all, this is CB in Joomla 1.6. Let's make that so it's visible. So you can. can edit profiles, including groups, additional information, CB subs runs on that. Also, you can have fields, for instance, the connection field here. Well, this doesn't have parameters. In the front-end tool, it works. Uh, register. Login. Um, here is the incubator. Uh, I think it's more here. Incubator on our forge. That project will become uh, publicly visible within days now. Uh, there are a lot of uh, plugins which are there already. Will be available and now 
this is, just make sure that I'm still signed in. Okay, okay yes. Uh, this is my profile on a playground site. Free friends connect gadget with a few comments. I need to sign in, of course, before that. His Facebook uh, connect. Now, here, for instance, uh, I can just click like it, and it will be appearing on like it on Facebook with your site URL. If I now add a comment and say uh, having great time in Wiesbaden, and I post that, oh, <laughs> capture hit. Now it's posting, and this appears here. But if I now go to my test account on Facebook, here it is. I'm having great time in Wiesbaden, written from a CB site. Maybe four. We are working on it from LinkedIn also. Uh, the first two ones will be uh, Facebook and uh, Friends Connect. With Friends Connect, actually, you have connection to LinkedIn, you have a lot of other connections. It's, it's, a, it's like a hub, an open hub. So with Friends Connect, you can connect to LinkedIn, Orkut, and so on, so on, so on. So it, it's indirectly possible. Uh, well, it's already possible with that today. But interestingly here, with that link, I go back to the site and to the profile. <laughs> so it allows you to build the buzz very, very quickly. Um, if I hit the like, I like button, it will be shown here on my timeline. So it's connecting, and it's more than connecting, it's really linking together things. So we are very excited about that announcement today. Uh, we didn't expect to have and Joomla 1.6 porting running today on the CB, on, on the Joomla 1.6 beta 2 release SVN right now. It will be running on beta 2 of Joomla 1.6 already, mostly, um, experimentally, of course, until Joomla 1.6 RC stage is met. Um, and have those connections, connecting all the social, social networks together on your own site. And that's a big move uh, for CB. It's a big win for the whole community and the users and members. And we are very, very excited about the new possibilities which are opened up. And all the Google gadgets, the games, everything you can, which is Google ga gadget, an open, open uh, social API based, runs on your CB sites with that. <laughs> so it's amazing. I just could speak just an hour about that. <laughs> um, okay, uh, hosting and managing community is my last topic. We have three more minutes, because we want to have a few questions. Um, we have technical issues which need to be solved when you want to host efficiently, and we have human-related. Technical issues, um, we have been trying hard to host our own site uh, at a very, 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 very good, secure, very, very secure, very reliable business class hosting. And we have built our own cloud on two continents in uh, actually, now it's four, almost five data centers uh, using clusters of computers, uh, all open source software to do that with very high availability and things like that. And we have built such a big infrastructure <laughs> that we have spare space that we are offering um, for business class hosting uh, with redundancy, as well with one-click installs for uh, Joomla plus CB plus whatever is needed to do a community site. Last but not least, managing community. Once you have built all those technicalities, you have solved all those problems, there's a human part which needs to be uh, done. It's about trust, it's about honesty. To start with, your content, your products or your services or all of, all of that need to be of quality. 
There is no possibility of cheating anymore. I have heard in another talk yesterday, somebody saying you can say anything, you make anything, think, fool people into buying your products. This is going to change, thanks to open communities, thanks to social sites. And opening your site means to have a content product which is of quality and which is honest. It, this public view and public impression that people give on your site or outside of your site already fosters honesty, fairness, but it also can blow up your head and think you're big, think you're uh, overachiever. And it's important to keep modesty. It's very important to keep modesty because um, modesty is as a base of respecting the others, of helping the others. Admit mistakes that you do and your own limitation. Thanks the other reward, empower people, build. Don't destroy, but build. Do not delete or censor unless behavioral rules are completely transgressed or illegal content is posted. If your site is all ages, just let, delete adult content. Um, communicate with people, let others interact. We are amazed how much time we call each other and we say, hey, this post is just that bad, I need to answer to that. And the other first says, ah, wait, community will be answering. And we come back a day later and there are two, three posts making that just moderate. So um, do your own. Um, you don't own your data. Well, legally you know, own it, but don't behave like you own it. It's a community who owns it. Be simply a member of it. And finding the right business model takes time. So, summary. Uh, the community build the project, we believe, has a strategy. It has tools. It has exciting news and a huge infrastructure. It has a track record. And we have a community, a large community, that we are listening to, trying to serve. And we are looking forward to keep CB at the cutting edge of all of these social network frameworks uh, with, uh, together with the community. So thank you for listening. I'm wishing you a very, very, very successful uh, community site. <laughs> Any questions or things that I need to hide to <laughs> tomatoes or... <laughs> Like, um, yes? Um, I have shown them on the board just before. Um, there, there are interactions, uh, integration plugins, which you have, uh, I don't have them here anymore. Um, if I have internet connection, yes. A few of them are, are listed here. Um, a few of them are also have been available on the old mysocial.com or org and have been uh, integrated here as well. Um, we have incubator. Um, we have uh, CB Connect, CB emails, uh, which um, is uh, inviting uh, CB Fields extension, Fly Spry Bug Tracker integration, CB Invites, allowing to invite people, Profile Update Logger, logging updates of profiles, um, CB Queries, allowing it's a SQL query maker, uh, CB Redirect, CB Trigger, CB Virtumart, there will be also a CB Redmine integration. So our forge is in Redmine, so typically on Joomla Police you register, you can log in with the same on Redmine, so that will be also in the incubator. And there are quite a few others which <laughs> will be making it, which we'll be adding over the next weeks and months uh, to it, and over the next years as well, obviously. So, there's a lot of things. Okay, any other last question? Then I would like to thank you for being here very much. I would like to thank the whole CB team, the work groups, and the whole community which has allowed this project to come that far. And I'm just a member of it. I'm trying to make it advance. So uh, feel, please feel like a member of that project, a full-time member, a 
a full-time contributor, and um, it's really, really nice to have it that way. Thank you very much.